We just woke up to the most beautiful view in Portland, Maine, here at the Sea Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After a quick hug from our new friend Robin Drummond and a check of the weather, we're on our way for day two. This is Misty on the Move. Ooh, shipyard opens at 10 30. I wonder whether we get three and a half stars for people. Food is much bigger and better than your usual air. Oh, it's at the airport. Oh, yeah, we passed that yesterday, mm -hmm. shipyard, when we were getting off the plane. Howie's Pub. Hole in the wall. Gets four and a half stars. Opens at noon. All right, oh, there's the list. King's Head opens at noon. Commercial Street Pub opens at 10.30. That's where we're going. It's 10.28. 29. Seven minutes. It's right in town. <laughs> video and you're supposed to get me where I need to go. <laughs> just in case you just in case you missed it. There's the sun. to call this one and done or else we might stay all day. The people in Maine are so nice. Another one of our favorite things to do is to not take the interstate anytime we're visiting a new place. This way we can really see the cities up close and personal and get a better lay of the land. We have a lot of driving to do today on the back roads if we went straight from Portland to our final destination, it would have taken us an hour and a half. And we're going to take a three and a half hour journey to get there and stop at a couple of taverns and pubs along the way that George has found. He always finds the greatest places. He's such an excellent researcher and it makes it so fun for us to travel. Where 
It is so beautiful, huh? Yeah. Restaurante. love driving through these parts of towns with all this interesting architecture. George and I both really enjoy this.
Yes. The king of beer should have been demoted to the jester of beer, according to George. We had a very good visit with dad. We're gonna come back and cut his hair tomorrow. Right now we're gonna head on into Hollow Well and we got a lot of great recommendations for dinner, but we're gonna go somewhere that George used to take his grandmother. Too close, you can't even see it. There you go. <laughs> It is? How good is it? On a scale of one to ten. Nine. Nine. Can't hit ten. I'm gonna give it nine. There ain't no ten. When I hit ten, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> The food was so good here, and this place has a really great, relaxed vibe. The name of the place is called Slates, in case I didn't say it earlier. And our food and our service was great, and it's been around for years. And by the way, the bakery that the DJ mentioned earlier, she serves the treats there. <laughs> no, I don't. It's beautiful. cock a doodle -do. Oh yeah, I need a video of this going in. I didn't yet. The cut going into this house. God, please, I hope my phone works. All right, hurry, because I'm on like nothing. I probably say this in every single video, and I'm pretty sure that I've already said it once, but George finds the best places for us to eat and stay. This house is so unique. I'm going to kick my boots off just because they're a little damp from the snow. We're gonna head upstairs to our room. We did come in here earlier and we dropped our bags off and we met the owner. His name is King and he is a character. I cannot wait to have breakfast with him tomorrow. This house is a bed and breakfast. It is not a homestay like the Sea Rose and so our host will be cooking for us in the morning. But let me show you our room. Thank 
Ja. There he is. There's the man. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We're going to sit down. One too many. 